This is Chris Guzman with your Bolo Punch Boxing Hour, brought to you by George Rogan Insurance, www.hsfp.cc, sportsjuice.com. On the phone right now, I've got Sean Joins, who is the manager of Tampa Daniel, who has been called out by the female Mayorga uh, out of Nicaragua. And, Sean, thanks for taking the time to talk with Bolo Punch tonight. What's going on with you? Hey, nothing much, Chris. Just relaxing and getting ready for this big trip to, uh, to the Latin country of Nicaragua. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about your fighter. Talk about Tansy Daniel. How did you get in, the, in touch with her in order to uh, become her manager? How did that, all, that relationship um, all start? Yeah, yeah. Well, basically, uh, there was a lightweight fighter that I was working with uh, at the gym. I was actually training him and so forth. And, uh, he was a amateur at the time. And we were playing on uh, turning him pro, uh, immediately following the Golden Gloves of 2006, I believe. Yeah. And uh, basically, I had seen Tansy working out at the uh, gym, Valley City Gym, which produces, which produced a lot of great champions and contenders like Luis Colazzo, Cool Powell. Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, just a lot of Shannon Graves came out of there. You know, a lot of, a lot of great Brooklyn fighters came out of that gym. And she just happened to be... Uh, the standout female of that gym, and everyone was talking about her, like, oh, that's the girl who, you know, fought at the Garden seven times, and she won five out of seven, you know, times as a, you know, a Golden Glove champion, sure. and stuff like that. So I said, uh, basically, I seen her moving around with her trainer, and it was kind of weird to see a female fighter move around like that. I, I've seen plenty of female fighters uh, sparring and, and working with pads and stuff like that, but I've never seen a defensive female fighter like this, you know, flipping and, you know, juking and jiving, as they would say uh, back in the day. It was like watching Parnell Whitaker, a heavy set female version of it. Oh, well, that <laughs> is quite a compliment, let me tell you that. Yeah, it kind of, and, and I'm not, I'm not going to lie, as I'm working with this young man, I'm not even going to mention his name, but as I'm working with this young man, I'm actually watching uh, Tansy and her former trainer giving, uh, giving her pads, and I'm like, wow, that girl is very, very delusive. For a female. I mean, there's a lot of guys that don't even move like that. And I said, I just have to, you know, I have to somehow, you know, uh, get a hold of this girl and see what she's doing. And basically, we struck up a conversation. We uh, built a friendship. At one point, I was even working with her with uh, conditioning and so forth. And one thing led to another, and um, here we are. Let's talk about uh, Little Miss Mayorga, the mouth. <laughs> we got to talk about the Nicaraguan mouth. Yeah, yeah, that that girl right there, I'll be honest with you, uh, I think uh, a lot of people are going to tune in to uh, this fight because of her mouth. I mean, she really, really, really can talk. And, hey, I have no problem with it. Whatever brings people to the seat, you know? Sure. <laughs> it doesn't matter. There's no such thing as bad press. It's just press, period. Yes. So for her to be running her mouth the way she is, and um, I see the fight. I've seen her fight, I've seen footage of her, and that's why, to me, it's really, it's really a joke to me that this fight is even going to take place, but you know what? We're going to take it anyway. You're because, saying uh, she doesn't have the skills to stand in the ring with Tansy? It, 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 it's like taking candy from a baby. <laughs> <laughs> that candy tastes just as good as the candy you pay for. <laughs> it's still the same stuff. <laughs> this, this is going to be a very sweet victory. And uh, even her, her new trainer, Victor Roundtree, we was talking the other night, and he said, I don't even think this fight should even go this distance. We're, we're going in there to take a house. We're not even going to play. We're just thinking about, you know, going in there, playing around, you know, hustling her a little bit, as we would say, you know, just make embarrassing her. But you know what? It's not even worth it. We might as well just go in there and take a house and just come on home. Collect your and just come on home. So Mayorga does not have the amateur background that Tansy has. No, no, at all. quite the contrary. From what I understand, she books, she says she has about 70 or 80 fights. But the weird thing is, we're talking to Tansy about it, and I'm quite sure you'll get her on the line in a little bit. Oh, yeah. Once, uh, once, you know, once I'm done and stuff like that. Tansy has traveled with the USA boxing team as an amateur, and she says she does not report Nicaragua having any females representing their country in any of the... Uh, the international tournaments, like the Pan Am Games and all the other different types of tournaments that goes on. So I really don't know who she's been fighting. I'll be honest with you, I really, really don't know who she's been fighting. Maybe it's neighborhood fights that she counts, 
on her, uh, you know, resume or something like that. I don't know, but if no one, uh, if we haven't seen her on the circuit, and no one knows her, so it's like she appeared out the blue. That's sort of what I was referring to there. Uh, that nothing is, uh, is uh, documented. That, right, that, exactly. my, that my organ has any sort of a of a amateur background. That's sort of what I was referring to there. Uh, exactly. I mean, Sandy Daniel, obviously, very very well recorded. Her amateur background, five time golden gloves, and all the she's probably got a room full of medals and belts and stuff. Yeah. Uh, my organ talks uh, quite a bit. I mean, it, I mean, you know the bloodline. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, they have vocal cords. Uh, they're they're very very. Well pronounced vocal cords. Uh, some people say they're, 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 the Mayorga vocal cords are, are more well developed than the Mayorga muscles. So, uh, I mean, you know, we'll, we'll see what there is. Uh, obviously, we've got Mayorga, uh, Ricardo Mayorga, El Matador is going to be taking on uh, uh, El Ferros, the uh, ferocious one, uh, Fernando Vargas. Um, and then for me, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I want to touch on that for a quick second. It's like, uh, I'll be honest with you, I think whoever touches his first goal, because neither one, both of those guys right now, I, I don't know. Uh, it's like they both passed their prime, even though uh, Fernando Vargas is pretty young, but he just had a, a, a very uh, tough career. I mean, uh, he's been in a lot of war. And I think it's it, it, it aged him out, and not to mention the men's uh, injuries that he has, you know, had within the past few years, especially with his back and so forth. I don't really think uh, that that's going to be an exciting fight, because both of their levels, like I said, it's not at the top. It's like somewhat mediocre. It's almost like Ali. Uh, Joe Frazier, the third one. Neither one of them sure. fight what they used to be, but they both are like you know gauge at the same level, and it makes for like, an exciting fight whenever you have two rivals like that. And I don't think knowing Fernando Vargas in the background and my other, neither one of them is going to run around the ring and stop boxing. Those guys are going to come to me and try to knock each other out. Sure. So, so who's your pick? Oh God, just like a wow, apples and oranges with these two guys. You know what? Um, oh. Uh, right now I'm going. Right now I'm going my organ. Um, yeah, I mean, because Vargas has really been looking. Oh man, he's the world's he's, oldest thirty-year-old. Yeah, he's he's deteriorated, he's deteriorated so much within the past few years, and it's really sad because the guy has so much potential. But you know what? Just to be different, Chris. Just to be different, I'm I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the young old man. I'm gonna go with Vargas. Okay, well, so I'll be calling you Saturday night, right? Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, is this Sean? Oh, yeah. Is, is, that, is that your boy on the floor there? <laughs> I might have to make that call, but uh, okay. but I will not I will not be making the call if my order is the one on his back. So. Right, right. Well, see, I, I, have, I have to look at it in, a, in sort of a way like, uh, I would say, like a premonition of what's going to happen to his target. I don't know. If my own way, if you know what I'm saying, it might, uh, it might give us some sort of motivation. Sure. Like that. So I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna stick with the American on this one, and I'm gonna go with Fernando Vargas. All right. So be by your phone late Saturday night, my friend. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> I'll be there, man. Beautiful. Well, thank you, Sean Joins, uh, manager of Tansy Daniel, uh, for taking the time out of your evening to talk with Bolo Punch. Um, and. Uh, <laughs> We're just expecting really great things from Tansy and, and um, everything out of uh, Molina Boxing Promotion. So thanks for taking the time, and we'll talk to you real soon, man. I, I appreciate it, Chris. And just one more thing I yeah. just want to say to be expecting a lot of new things in 2008. I'm going to call you guys and give you guys all of the information. Beautiful. Everything is settled with the new fighters and so forth, and uh, I just want to share with you guys first. Well, this will be the, the beginning of a great friendship. I do believe so. Beautiful. Thank you, Sean. We'll talk to you real soon. All right, Chris. Take it easy. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.